question and I didn't know the answer. Will this legislation, will it, will it apply? In other words, can he take what he produces on his land to the uh, farmer's market? And be able, yes. And without, will this legislation protect him so he can sell yes. his processed chicken at the farmer's market or his Label. cheese or his milk? Yes, because, and it will also allow for help on the farm because it, it specifically says the producer or their designee. You can have an intern helping you with the processing of the, the, the food, and we have no restrictions on where it is sold as long as that producer is selling it direct to that consumer. You can be in your church parking lot, you can be in the library parking lot, you can be at a farmer's market or you know, at your own home. Good. Woo. Is there any more questions? Can you all hear me? Yeah. Perfectly. Perfect. All right, the, the, just... the baby, the baby right. of 12 kids gets heard. <laughs> yes. What about at our own gym? Not through the store. Only to an end consumer, so you can sell to another adult? Yeah, not your employee. So no wholesale. You have to sell it direct. We're talking handshake to the direct person. Yeah, it's a adult to adult um, sale. Farmer market off the farm. Uh, commerce is a whole. Yeah, the, re yeah, yeah, the, the retail. The language is, is end user. That's the that's the language. So you can't sell it to a general store who will then sell it again. It has to be to the end user where the, the buyer is, is the buyer. Is your store on your farm? It's on your farm. It's that unfamiliar store. It's that unfamiliar store. Baby, that is wide open for interpretation. And if we want to argue with you, I will fight for you. It's like, oh, it's the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's your stuff and your store, yes. And your stuff. Yeah, you're absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not like you're, it's, there's no third party involved. You're selling it direct. Yeah, that's what it's all about. But you gotta understand, I don't think you can just take everybody's stuff in the community and sell right. it through your store. Unless they're all there that day. For <laughs> <laughs> their agent. No, it's direct sale. Okay. Their agent. In other words, you said you could have somebody else sell for the for your process. That's for the processing. Okay. Not sale. Because there's a lot of people that, and, and I brought that up because of that Facebook thing where Falkir went after you yeah. with that pumpkin carving. Yeah. How many people are processing food on their farm and they have their nieces, yes. their cousins, their aunt come in, right. or neighbors, and they're helping with it. I was like, no, VDAX is not going to have any way, shape, or form to be able to interfere with our communities feeding ourselves. Right. So we had to find the perfect word, which was designated. Yes, I, got, I just wanted to make a address what just came out. I haven't read the, the proposed legislation, but I would think that if you're if you're going through multiple corporate entities of which you may be a part of, for example, if your farm is an LLC and the store is a separate LLC, it might be a problem to that deal, even though it's the same people at the, uh, I guess, the top of the food chain owning the That's an excellent point. I think you're right. So. Yeah. Can't help you there. Yeah, I mean, again, it, you, you can make some arguments, and I don't know how you're, you may be structured or others, but the rumor structure, but. That could be an issue because the, the, the law would probably look at it as separate entities. You wouldn't be going through, it wouldn't be you direct to the consumer, it would be you through you to somebody else. Well, if this, if, if, if just this passed, <laughs> oh, you want, if just you, this passed, it would set up a domino of events that would fundamentally change Virginia's food scale. Fundamentally. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you this also, this, this bill is also designed, like, like Delegate Rob Bell said. So for us, you know, we, and I'm going to tell you a little story. This year, we looked into building dairy on a farm, uh, grade A dairy. We were going to sell yogurt. And uh, we just want to go three to five cows, and there's a micro dairy that, that potentially, for a decent price, allows us to do that. So I called the dairy inspectors up, and, and he came out. And, you know, I'm a farm manager of a wealthy guy. He's got a really beautiful farm. And that dairy inspector came out, and he got a little excited. And you could just see, oh, I'm so happy to be here. What can I do to help? Let's talk about your dairy. And, and he was. You know, for almost a whole hour, we had a wonderful conversation, real a lot of excitement. And then, like, something must have, he must have called something where he, he realized I was only going to build three to five cows. And he stopped dead in his tracks, and his face just got completely blank, and, like, 
you could tell he was like ripping the skin off me in his mind or something. And he's like, how many cows do you have in them? And I said, three to five cows. Yeah, that's amazing. It's great. My berries are all regulated. It's all good. And he was like, you're going to spend a half a million dollars to milk three to five cows? Like, it just completely was dumb. And he basically, at that point, he packed up the stuff and he rolled. And I was trying to explain to him as he was leaving my property to the micro dairy. It's like 40, 30 to fifty thousand dollars. You have really beautiful regulated dairy, three to five cows. I don't think so. You know, completely gone. So basically, what he told me was the threshold is a half million dollars to be able to sell you over retail. So, but this bill, what this would do is give me the ability to milk three or five cows. And you know, if it's successful, we move up to 10 cows, we move up to 20 cows, and now we've kind of saturated our demand, if that's even possible, then we can go, well, you know what? Half a million dollars might not be that unreasonable because we're making $200,000, $300,000 a year on dairy. So you know, we can put in the grade A facility, do it all by the book, and then distribute it to all the supermarkets. So it's just a stepping stone also for that bigger distribution. That's where we want to go. So, anybody else got any questions for for Brenda? Well, thank you very much. Sign that petition. Yes, please do.